but this video will take you through the process of creating a Google account so that you can um, so that you can comment during worship services. So I um, have just a portion of my browser showing. I went to youtube.com and because I'm not currently signed in, there's this uh, link in the upper right corner that says sign in. So I will click on that button first. And here you would, you know, it says, well, sign in, but you, you'd already need to have an account in order to do that. To create an account, it's down here in the, in the lower left. So click create account. And as soon as you click on that, this thing pops up and I'll click for myself instead of for my business. Um, and then here you type your name. You just want to type your name in a format that it's going to show up, um, you know, first and last name. This is how your name will show up when you comment during worship. Um, and then instead of typing your email address right away, click on this button that says create a new Gmail address instead. So once you've clicked on that, you'll see this at gmail.com show up. And here, uh, this is where you just need to, um, uh, you know, type something that you're going to, you're basically creating a new email account and you never have to share this email with anybody else. You, so you never have to use it or check it. It's just, this is the mechanism by which you can comment. And so here you, you just want to type something that you believe that somebody else doesn't have. So um, I actually, so, you know, just, you know, maybe it's your first initial last name and then you know, a bunch of random numbers or something like that. And then um, down in this password area, you'll see that you need to use eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So um, if you just use this password for just uh, worship uh, comments and nothing else, you, you, might, you might just use it, uh, a password you have for something else or write down something uh, and keep it in a safe place. Okay, so having done that, um, type, typed in uh, the password I like to use once in the password box and once in the confirm box, I'll click on this next. So on this next screen, um, putting in a phone number is optional, so let's just not do it. Putting in an email address is optional, so let's not do that. Um, putting in a birth date is, I guess, required, but you can just put in a fake date. So I put in here, for instance, January 1st, 1950. Um, same with gender. If you know, you can, if you don't feel like giving Google a lot of information, you could just do something like that. I'll click next. And then on this next screen, there's an uh, agreement. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom and click I agree. And let's see, waiting for the next screen to load. And at this point now, now I, love, so I have an account and you'll see uh, it used to in the upper right corner say sign in. Now there's this little E. So I am now signed in. Um, so now you could watch the other video about the process of uh, commenting uh, during worship service.